I think I've just uncovered well over $60 million worth of fraud, a blatant scam. I have the receipts, I have the proof from many individuals, and I'm gonna pretty much be revealing everything here today. Now, before I get into this, one of two things. Yes, I am not making this video to go ahead and bash anybody. Number two is that we have work capital for those that know, that's my baby, that's our fund. So I'll explain why that's important because we had a merger acquisition with Boathouse LP and this is kind of a intermingling problem, but I didn't realize how big it was. Let's get into it. So there's this platform called the Trader's Domain. Now the Trader's Domain is essentially a PAM. So what they do in this particular PAM and pretty much every PAM is that they gather all funds from all users and they put them into different investment algorithms that trade the market and supposed to beat the market. Now, beating the market is, is good in itself. However, we're gonna dive in. I'm actually gonna show you how much money they have, but I'm gonna show you the returns they're getting, and I'm gonna also show you a lot of people that are coming to me ever since I posted on Instagram that they're missing millions of dollars. In total, you're gonna see that it's millions upon millions, and I'll show you how much they have liquid, where, well, quite frankly, math doesn't math. So before I dive in to literally every single screenshot that I've pulled for the last day or so, this is what I wanna show you. This is TTD, the trader's domain. Now, we're gonna go through. Now I created an account here uh, only because for those of you that know, Work Capital, we have a PAM aspect that is involved, that is integrated into our fund. And that's gonna be important. And by the way, I don't want you to think I'm just making this video to bash and say, hey, look at us. No, as a matter of fact, I don't give two craps if you don't check out Work Capital. I want to show why we know and how I figured this out because I'm on the other side and I know what's happening here. So I signed up and I decided, hey, let me put in 20 bucks because how it works is when you go ahead and deposit, so let me go to the deposit area. So you go to right transfer funds, you go to deposit, and you're able to go ahead and choose your currency, so USD in my case, and you can deposit fiat, crypto, uh, purchase crypto with debit card, et cetera. Now, here's the thing, is that uh, majority of people, pretty much 90% of everybody that is has invested, that's reached out to me personally, has uh, gone into and invested with uh, crypto. Here's the thing, is that I bought 20 bucks worth of Ethereum. So I went ahead and just put, you know, Ethereum, 20 bucks, yada, yada. They gave me my output, uh, they gave me my output address. Now, I sent the 20 bucks. So that's gonna be important because we're going to actually track this on chain because I know exactly how the money moves on chain. And I saw the wallet with all the money in it that they have for their particular PAM. And oh boy, they are a little short, I would say, 50 plus million short, but we'll get to that in a second. So they promise incredible returns on multiple different leaderboards or multiple different PAMs that they offer. So you can see leaderboards over here. So each one of these is completely different. Uh, you can see high risk, high risk. There's, again, there's so many that they offer that you can place your money into. Quite frankly, a lot of these are just, ugh, like, uh, come on. So 482,000% and let's just go to the statistics. So you can see right over here, if we go to all time, it's been roughly almost two years, okay? Two years for 482,000%. Notice, max drawdown, 70%. I, for, for those of you that don't know what max drawdown is, for every $100, the max it has lost is $68.42, but it recovered, of course. And so that's, horrendous. Their, perf their performance fee is 85%, meaning all the profit that you make, they take 85%. That, okay, that's fine, because it's technically free money for you. But 482,000%. So everybody's BS alarm should be uh, signaling very fast. So now before I dive into their actual wallet, I wanna dive into the stories I posted on Instagram because I took a lot of screenshots of my friends and people in my particular industry 
And I'm going to tell you right now, they're not, you know, they're not average Joes. Some of them are, some of them run million dollar businesses, multi-million dollar businesses, and they got duped. So the reason why I'm truly making this video is because I realized something. I realized talking to everybody that there were individuals, there was one particular person who, who reached out to me, he said, man, I hope, I hope I can get my withdrawal back because it was my money, my family's money, and my friend's money. And listen, you have to be a grade A scumbag to just blatantly steal somebody's money like that. It, it boils my blood because it's not even a case of, oh, I didn't like the service, so I think I deserve my money back. No, it like nothing, nothing is there. So by definition, it's a scam, it, it's fraud. So let's go through this timeline. Let's go and look at everybody who's been messaging me and I'm gonna keep everybody private and if, they are willing to come out and say, hey, yes, you can post. I'm gonna post that on my Instagram as well uh, on who they are. Some of these individuals are, are very well known in, uh, in certain spaces. So this is how I started it off. I said, wait till everybody finds out Trader's Domain is insolvent and Ted, who's the owner, isn't paying you a single shekel. You and your 473,000% can sit alone in a corner. I posted this this morning. Um, it's now at 482,000%, wow. Guys, 10,000% today, <laughs> shit, count me in. They had a sign-in message, but let me summarize this for you. Basically saying, leaving reviews good or bad on various sites does not increase your chance of transactions moving faster. Let's go to the next part. Your account will not be removed from the platform for a good or bad review. We understand uh, that clients have and you have the right to voice concerns. We will be removing accounts that spread misinformation or insult our staff. So in so many words, people are complaining about them not getting paid out. So that can be misconstrued as misinformation, right? Because misinformation in this case is what they classify as, yeah, well, we pay out and you're lying and saying we're not paying out. So now let's continue. These are individuals, like I said, uh, that I'm going to just keep anonymous here. So currently, for the record, during the acquisition and merger of Boathouse LP, which was owned by Alpha Omar, we joined together under Work Capital. Uh, he had 300,000 in Trader's Domain, and that was actually his profit. So again, there's 300,000, now that's rolled over into Work Capital. So yes, I do have stake in the game here. So 300,000 I know is locked of hours. So uh, this individual said 75,000. My boys have more. This individual said, haha, GG still waiting. Another 300,000. This person, 180,000. This person, 300,000. All right, let's keep going. Right over here, 3 million. So as I mentioned, these particular individuals reaching out to me, this, uh, this particular person is very well off. The friend group, also very well off. They're in our industry. They make very good money. He put in three million and he's been waiting for 90 days now. And I know somebody who has four million, like in person who has four million and he's been waiting four months. And you'll get why in a few minutes. And the friend group, which I can 100% confidently say, because I know who they are, 30 million combined. So right there, we're at like what, 32 million. Let's keep going. 95,000 for this individual. Then we have 400,000 for this individual. Then somebody asked about work capital and really quick, just to interject, one thing that we're really open about is like you can actually see the LP, the, the liquidity. It's, it's a liquidity provider. You can see how much money is in there. If, if TTD did the same thing, there would be no questions. So again, as I just said, this is literally the address of our LP where we go ahead and we put in our money, withdraw from, et cetera. It's, it's very open, very transparent, nothing to hide. Again, going over this as well. Let's keep going. So I am out 4.3 million. And by the way, these are all different individuals. So here we go. Between my family and friends, and this is the one that really got to me and why this video is now being made. Um, between my friends and my family, probably 250K to 300K. And I had so many messages that even went into my hidden requests. Uh, right over here, 110,000 from this individual, 40,000 from this individual. So I also put out a message because I got wind 
uh, people were telling me that they were making announcements saying, don't listen to the misinformation and uh, you know the lies out there. Okay, fair enough. Let's just say I'm wrong. Let's just say this is misinformation. Let's just say everybody who's messaged me throughout the last 24 hours is a complete liar and they, uh, they literally just make stuff up for the hell of it. Let's just say that's exactly what's happening. So I said, I'll admit I'm 100% wrong if you're able to pay out bare minimum of $20 million, okay? So, cause everybody who has messaged me, I will wait for them to come back and say, hey, I got my withdrawal, 20 million, that's it. 20 million, out of everything you've just seen, 20 million, that's it. So I could tell you that it's way more than 20 million in withdrawals, but due to the weekend, banks, you know, LPs and whatnot, they aren't gonna transact over the weekend. So in essence, it should take three to seven days max for a withdrawal request. Seven days is, is, you know, average, a little slow. You can get it faster, but three, four days. Okay. So I said, Hey, by Wednesday, 20 mil. If that happens, man, I'm sorry. I'm wrong. I will admit I'm wrong. You have the money. But I also said, I highly doubt it's going to happen because $20 million of new investor money is not about to roll in. Now I will say right over here, and this is a very important point. Uh, this person messaged me and said, I got my payout like four weeks ago. Very effing surprised. It was 50K. Now, those of you that are withdrawing 10K, 15K, 50K, that is very realistic for payouts. Why? And I actually told Alpha this as well, is that what if we started just requesting 10K at a time? Because it's small, right? Think about this. Somebody who's requesting four mil, well, damn, it's really hard to get a lump sum payment of four mil, but 10K, that's called rotating money, right? So they get new members in, of course they're gonna have 10K. 50K, sure, that's very plausible. So right over here, but no clue how. I definitely figured it was a total loss. My boy has 1.5 million stuck, been waiting for four months. And now it's time to put the nail in the coffin. Now me being me, understanding how PAMs work, cause I'm very well versed on depositing and how it all works. So let's go through it. So what I decided to do was I wanna see where the money's going. So if I go ahead and I go to transfer and funds, I'm gonna click deposit. Now again, they will allow you to deposit in uh, various different um, currencies, purchase with uh, uh, crypto, et cetera. And by the way, the maximum daily deposit for credit and debit is 5,000. Now I can confidently say that I would give 60 to 70% actually deposit in crypto. So it just so happens that the blockchain is pretty transparent. So I decided, hey, I wanna put in 20 bucks, but let's, Let's actually go ahead and send some ETH, okay? So I decided to pick ETH, put 20 bucks in, and I ended up getting my uh, deposit address, okay? So I deposited the 20 bucks. And so here we go, all right? So this is my transaction in. It was 20 bucks, all right? So let me just open up this transaction and show you. It's, uh, it's $20 right over here as stated, C2. Let me just grab the actual here we are, so C2, as you can see, that's where it was sent. Now, knowing exactly how this works, okay, the internal TXs, meaning that there's a smart contract that's moving money around, it, more, more than likely to their liquidity pool, uh, which it is. So internal transactions, you can see contract creation. So there's a certain smart contract that's being created for every single depositor. So the money was moved. Where was it moved to? Well. Let's take a look, E2. Now this is a pretty damn big wallet, but they have roughly $6.6 .6 million, okay? Sitting here, just sitting in token value. Now USDC, Tether, DAI, those are stable. Binance, BUSD. So we can even take a look because uh, uh, the, the address is the same for Ethereum as well as Binance Smart Chain, uh, BP20. So long story short, we have 6.4 here, roughly seven or so added together. 
And this is if they liquidate their uh, poop coins as well. What we're looking for is more so stables, okay? Because that's what really matters. We're looking for stables. So four mil here, BUSD, USDC, fair enough. So I just ran all the numbers here and between Ethereum and BSC, they have $14 million in their wallets. Now again, that isn't necessarily all stables. There's some other coins in there that prop up the value. Now, just on these actual uh, individuals that reached out to me thus far, the total that I've gone ahead and calculated is $41,850,000. Um, I don't know about you, but there seems to be a little bit of a deficit. And when people aren't getting paid out for months and no answers are coming and all everybody's getting is just wait, just wait. So I just wanted to create this video as a fair warning because I know a lot of my friends have been duped. We currently have money in there as well due to the merger. And I know a lot of people uh, are getting affected by this. So the numbers look great, but I hate to tell you that just because the numbers look good on a screen doesn't ever mean that they'll actually look good in your bank account when they never arrive. Good luck. I won't recommend or ever touch TTD. And Uncle Ted, you're gonna have a very fun time with Uncle Fed. Good luck, everybody. I hope it works out for you guys.